Hi everyone, today is very exciting as I will be getting the bunnies today. They are coming at 1pm so I've got a bit of time to prepare and just get everything sorted, get the little playhouse set up and then make sure everything is ready for them so that's exciting. And I did buy a few things from Pets at Home the other day which I will go and show you. I just got it in that outdoor building. So yeah, we went to Pets at Home and we also went to Pound Stretcher and got a few things for them. As I do have a lot of guinea pig toys and that, but you know, it's always exciting to get new toys when you're getting a new pet. So I thought I would just show you some bits that I got. So here are the items which I bought. So these are some buckets which I thought would be very useful for carrying bedding in and out. And they just seem like a really good size and shape and everything. So we've got some buckets. Then also I got this seagrass house, it's got two entrances, so one on the front, then one on the side. I just thought this was really cute and a lot of you have said that your bunnies like to chew on the seagrass or play with it, so I thought that would be a good little hideout for them. Then I got this jingly ball for them to play with, this only cost £2.50, oh I forgot to say, this was about £13 I think, this was £2.50. I then got this took a North toy for them, this only cost a pound. And finally we've got this willow ball which will be good for them to play with and I guess I can hide some treats in there and things so that it encourages them to chew but yeah that's everything which I got and hopefully they will like what I chose. I'm just going to let the guinea pigs out, it's not very warm today but it's warm enough for them and it's dry so that's the main thing. So we'll just go over to this under here. Oh, of course, you'd be first out, wouldn't you? You're always first out, Miffy. She loves the outdoors so, so much. Yeah, she's brave. Good girl. She needs a bit of a brush, actually. <laughs> Do we need to brush you? <laughs> oh, that's one happy guinea pig, isn't it? When they run around like that, it's always a good sign. And Miss Panda, hello Miss Panda. It's always, always younger ones. You never see like Bramley and Ruby and Oreo running out first. It's always the others because they're the most adventurous. These guys. Where did Miffy go? Oh, she's there. Having a nice run around. What's Roxy doing? definitely knows there's something going on, don't you? So everything is pretty much sorted now with the playhouse. I've got a few bits here and there to finish up with and I've got about an hour because it's 12 o'clock now so they are coming in an hour. Still got plenty of time I think, hopefully to get everything sorted so that's very exciting that they're coming so soon. I also wanted to do this random little shout out. I don't normally do shout outs but this girl on Instagram sent me a direct message saying that her sister is a really big fan of my channel and I just wanted to say good luck Emma with your new guinea pigs and this is Emma from Kent so yeah good luck with your new guinea pigs and um, yeah so hopefully that was a nice little surprise for you. I don't normally do random shout outs in vlogs so yeah good luck with your new piggies. I remember when I first got my guinea pigs and I knew absolutely nothing but it's such a great experience so I hope you have a good time with your guinea pigs and enjoy the whole experience because it's such great fun. I've just set up this feeding station for them so 
Here is a water dispenser. This one's quite good for rabbits. I've used it for the guinea pigs before, but it didn't really work out, so I thought it would be good for the rabbits. I also got this double feeding dish. I don't know if I will use this for their veggies or for pellets. So I have got a couple of toys. I might just leave them, like, lying on the floor. And my mum bought some new ones just now. She got these corn rattle rollers. These are meant to be quite good for rabbits, so maybe put one of them out as well. My dad took one of the steps off to stop the rabbits getting up. I don't think they'll still try because it is quite a big jump and obviously if they do then we'll try and rethink because I don't want them going up here. Uh, there's a, there isn't really anything else up here that I haven't shown you in any other vlogs but I do have a bucket up there so I'm thinking of maybe leaving some buckets in so I've just got hay in there and then I don't have to trail all the way to the shed to carry things in and out. I thought I would now show you this outdoor area. We haven't got much in here because it's not huge but um, I just wanted to give them a few little hidey. So they've got a crinkly tunnel over there, then this which we made out of some small decking pieces and this is really good hidey for them. I'll now do an overview and show you everything set up. So I am thinking of doing a shed tour on my main channel at some point and that will also probably come after an introduction video. I'm wanting to do a video introducing them on my main channel so everyone gets to know them because I think some of the people on, who are just subscribed to my main channel are probably a bit confused about the whole rabbit situation so I will be doing a video on there as well. So Stacey came, she was the fosterer of these bunnies who were being like, they were rescued by Camp Nibble but she was fostering them. So yeah, she's just been to sort of drop them off for us, which is really good. And I think it's starting to rain, but yeah, so the I think they're both in the litter tray. Oh, one of them's come out now. I love this little window here because you can see them. And I don't want to go and disturb them, but I really want you guys to see, so I'll be really quiet. Oh, bless them. So here are the bunnies. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? It's been like such a long time waiting to be able to get them but oh, to now finally have them is really good and obviously I've never had bunnies before so it's going to be such a great experience and that one's just vlogged oh so the names are Piper this one's Piper hello Piper and Bigwig he's so lovely too oh they're both such Lovely bunnies, very cute ones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is so adorable. They look like they're quite well bonded as well, and I think that's because they're a male and female pair. So, Piper here, that's the girl, and then Big Wig is the boy. So, I'm really hoping that they're gonna continue to get along well because. That would be lovely and it's so nice that they're cuddling up to each other and everything so Literally having cuteness overload Oh my goodness Oh <laughs> You can definitely tell which one's the most confident Where are you going cheeky? Oh we found the litter tray <laughs> You may also be wondering about the age so they're both between one and two years old and basically the story is that they were both found as strays and then um, they were both taken into the rescue and bonded so yeah they were both found and they didn't have a home so so like I said I will do a, another video I think I'll film a video tomorrow for my main channel then you can get to know a bit more about them and their story and everything that's just going to be to introduce them properly Oh. He really does like that teepee. Oh, he stretched right up. That is so cute. <laughs> they really love this little tree. I think it helps having the stairs above it because they know they have something above their heads so they must feel like a bit more comfortable with that. <sighs> he really likes it in there. <laughs> They're so funny. Hello, you. Aww. I just really love that. I think it's dead cute, that little teepee. 
Oh, what's that? Is that a toy? <laughs> I wonder if they know how to use the cat flap. Well, they did have a cat flap at um, their old place, so they probably know how to use it. Oh, are you seeing the little hideout in the bench? Is it gonna go in? Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> I'm glad they can fit in there easily. I was a bit concerned it was a bit too small, but no, they seem to fit in there really well. Oh. <laughs> What I would really like to do is to leave um, a webcam in here then I can get to watch them because obviously these first few days I don't want them to be very disturbed so it would be good if I could just like leave a webcam in here like the one that the guinea pigs have but then there's no way to charge it so it probably won't last very long but it would be really interesting. Oh. going to go and feed the guinea pigs and the bunnies. I've got some kale, some pepper and some cucumber for the guinea pigs. Then for the bunnies I have some spring greens and some kale. It just takes one of them to come out and then they'll all come running. Come on. I can hear them squeaking. Come on then. See, that's really good how they can trust me already to take the food from my hand. That's so good. There you go. Oh, how cute. So let's try them with some kale. Now, I don't think they've had kale before, so I can try some of that. There you go. Oh, no, don't like kale. <laughs> 